of us have that going, man. We have to worry about a lot of stuff, you know? Like, I got to worry about Al-Qaeda, and I got to be worried about being profiled as Al-Qaeda. We all do. Like, I was at the airport a little while ago. I had a beard going. I was doing a play. And, and you don't want to be from the Middle East, have a beard, be at the airport. It's not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? I was walking around. I felt paranoid. I was like, these guys are watching me. I feel like they're watching me, man. And then I come up to that metal detector. And that thing just makes you feel guilty anyway. <laughs> I was like, no matter what you've done, I was walking, I was like, am I packing a gun? I don't think so. I don't own a gun, but let's see what happens. And I walked through, it was like, eh. I'm like, damn it, I'm a terrorist. I knew it, I knew it! <laughs> I'm like, sir, calm down, it's just your belt. I'm like, how do you know? Check my bags, check my bags! I'm not getting on the plane with me. And then I went to the ticket counter and I wanted the guy to know whose side I was on, so I caught myself enunciating English like never before. <laughs> I wanted him to know, I was like, hello, my fellow American. How are you? Yes, I'm here to board the aeroplane. Carry-ons? Just this American flag, that's all I'm carrying on. said about some things, darling. is so central to how Americans think about things. It didn't happen if it didn't come on TV. It didn't happen if we don't have a picture of it. Where do these images come from? What's the relationship between these images and American foreign policy in the Middle East? What's their impact? Why do they matter? America's love affair with Arabia reached a frenzy with the 1920 British erotic novel, The Shake, and Hollywood immediately turned it into a film starring Rudolph Valentino. The Shake would create the most popular male sex symbol in the history of American cinema. <laughs> 